be found out of the undrafted uh, sort of scrap heap, I guess, for the Thunder. Let's talk about another guy, a little bit older, this guy, and that is a guy that played down here in the NBL, a uh, French point guard, 21 years of age, six foot six, Hugo Besson, who is yeah, good good size, but a minus wingspan, so good height is more, more what I meant to say. Um, again, 31% shooting as a guard. We would love for that to be high, but he did hit his free throws at a high rate, and he did take a ton of threes. 52% of his shots were from deep. Um, overall, the shooting percentage was pretty rough. Is he any? Is there anything interesting here? Like compare him. I know this is stereotypical, but let's compare him to other French point guards that have come in over the last couple mm-hmm. of years. Theo Maladon, um, Killian Hayes. Where does he fit with those guys? Well, I, I was I was high on Killian, even if I shouldn't have been. Same. I think the real the thing with him, he's just a very aggressive scorer. He looks for his shot a lot. So the, some of the percentages you can forgive because the NBL, if nothing else, has proven that it is a league for grown men. Yeah. Like the talent level is not as high, but like you, you're going to get hit. If you play oh, yeah, that, like these are, yeah. Yeah. These are 30, 35 year old men. They're not going to let a teenager just push them around, which is why it's impressive when Giddy or Lamello pushes them around. Um, and it's, it, it's, it's proof of why a guy like Ushman Jang, I think had to really de- work on his game there. Cause he was definitely overwhelmed at the start of the year. Yeah. And what I saw. Oh yeah. No, he's, uh, he was terrible to start, but Besson, I think, I think it just has like, I think he's got a good handle. I think he can run some basic stuff. Like I think he can be a bench guard who handles the offense for a few minutes at a time. And just the way he shoots, he does the interesting thing as a shooter that I really like is he sort of changes his release depending on where the, like what kind of shot he's um, like where he is. If he's right on the line, it's just kind of a nice, easy, repeatable three. But if he's behind the line, he goes kind of the Steph Curry heave. And, you know, that only really works for Steph Curry. But I think it's an interesting way to be like, a guy who puts pressure on defenses. I think he can do that. I have him top 45 because I, I really think he has some creativity and just what's the right word? Moxie, just aggressiveness as a scorer. I think could be really useful off the bench in the NBA. In like so- you said, he's got good height and he's not, a huge liability other ways and other places. I don't think when you say yeah, he's top 45, do you think that there's any part of that of being okay, that him in that spot is due to the, apparent lack of point guards in this class mm, yes yeah absolutely because uh it's it's pretty rough yeah it is <laughs> that's part of the reason i have ivy as high as i do is that like he's the one that's the only real shot i feel like i've had a star point guard in this class yeah they're, they're just they're just not there and for teams that like yeah. are desperate for point guards you know the wizards and the knicks at 10 or 11 like they could either make a terrible mistake or they just shit out of luck like they're just not going to get to that to that guy because it's just not that player available really